Hey guys, it's the going to Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to actually walk you through how we can actually create a Unity project and also automate the build process where we're going to be scripting uh, basically a build script that is going to do the build of one of our scenes and it's basically going to generate a standalone Linux build. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to create a just a test project. It doesn't really matter what you name it. And I'm going to select my location. I'm going to say that I don't want Unity Analytics. And I'm just going to say Create Project. Just give it a few seconds. And while that is loading, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the test project. And actually, outside of the test project, or you can actually go inside. It's up to you. I'm going to just create a folder here called deployment or we can just say build since this is not going to be deploying anything for now let's just call it build and in the build what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a, a file and this is a file that we're going to use to actually run unity and execute a build process so we can just call this one deploy .sh and we don't need to put anything in there just for now. I'm just going to drag it and drop it into Visual Studio Code. And I think that's good for now. Let's see if we're still building Unity. Looks like we are. So, so what I'm going to be doing right now while we have the Unity project getting created is that we actually can execute Unity in what it's called quiet mode or, or silent mode. So we can actually do, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to execute a bash command where we're going to tell Unity basically the bash file where Unity is. So I'm just going to say editor and then this is the location of my Unity executable. And the other thing that you can do is you can actually specify other parameters. So I'm going to say, you know, when this executes, I, I want to quit and this is actually supposed to be a dash and you can also do a batch mode and i'll put some of the parameters and where these are located in the documentation of unity project path and the project path is actually going to be so if we look at the the location where where the script is right now is if we execute it from here we got to go back one location and we got to go into the test project so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go back one basically back one folder and I'm going to say test project and the other thing that we got to tell it is we actually have to determine where the build script is going to be located so that's going to be the test project and we actually going to execute a method so I'll show you so if you do execute method then we're going to have the namespace be called build script or actually it's gonna be that's gonna be a static class that we're gonna create in our in our project and this is gonna be the name of the method so we're just gonna say perform build so what what's gonna happen is unity is gonna look at this project in the project path which is called test project and then it's gonna try to locate a class that is called build script and then within that class it's going to try to find a perform build. So this is going to be a static class and this is going to be a method instead of that static class. So I think we're done with, with this part. The The other thing that I normally do is I also do an echo so that I know that, you know, the order of execution. Because so this might start with what line, but we might be able, we might need to add some other, you know, post-processing, you know, steps or other things that we want to do after the build. We might want to you know, copy this build to a remote server and so on. So I'm going to do a starting build process. And then simply on the, at the end, we can do in the build process. I'm just going to so just copy that and paste it right below. And we can just say in the build process. Perfect. And that's really everything that we need to do for that. And I'm just going to minimize it for now. And so now we have our test project. And then 
we really don't have anything else in the test project. So the other thing that I want to do is I want you to go into assets and we're going to create a new folder. So I'm actually going to create a folder called scripts. And then inside of the scripts, I'm going to create another folder called editor. And it's important that you call this folder editor. Otherwise, the build script is not going to work. So and then the script we're going to create, it's going to be called build script. It's going to be a C sharp script. And we're just going to open it. And we can actually just open in Visual Studio. You can also use Visual Studio Code if you like. Just wait for that to load. And this is actually going to be the, the static class. We don't actually need to inherit from anything. It's just going to be, so we can actually use that method. We don't need. So it's going to be a static. And if you remember, we call these the perform build method. And I was telling you that you needed to do a static class. You actually don't need to do a static class. The method has to be static. So I think even if you make it a static class and also a static method, that should actually work. So and then the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually create a, a list of scenes that we're going to be injecting into the the build pipeline. So I'm just going to call this variable default scene. And in here, we're just going to say, OK, the scene that we're going to create is going to be called it's going to be in this directory. And I'm just going to call it main scene.unity. And we haven't created that scene yet, but we'll do that in just a minute. And then we're going to basically use the build pipeline, which we haven't bring bring in. So I think that's part of the Unity editor namespace, and it is part of that. And we're going to tell the player, the pipeline, to build the player. We're going to pass in the basically the default scene variable that contains the scene that we want to build. And we also want to tell it where we're going to be basically putting the build. So I'm going to say that, you know, put it on the same directory in a folder called builds. And I'm just going to call this one game. And since I'm going to be doing a Linux build, I'm just going to call it x86 underscore 64, which is going to be my Linux build. And I'm just going to tell it what target I want. So I wanted to do a standard standalone Linux 64. And I don't want to specify any options. But if you wanted to say that you want to build scripts only or allow debugging, you can specify it in here. It's in, and basically, you can do an OR of all these enumerations if you wanted to specify multiple. So for now, I'm just going to do none. So that's perfect. can actually just clean up our using statements. So let's see, build script, perform build. So I think that's everything that we need in there. The, the other thing that we need, we also need a scene, which we call main scene. So we have a sample scene already, so let's just rename that to main scene. And I'm going to go to File, Build Settings. I'm going to delete the one that was, or was already there originally. And I'm just going to add the open scene. Then I'm going to close this. So, so that's really everything that we need to do on the project. So the other thing that I, that I want to do is I want to go back to the the deploy sh file. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clean up the build directory, in, just in case if it exists. And so I'm just going to do here an rm-rf. And then we're just going to get rid of that directory. And we can actually add another echo at the, at the beginning. We can just say, you know, echo cleaning up build directory and then so if it doesn't exist it just you know I won't delete it if it exists it'll remove it and then we go to the process of basically executing unity then telling the unity what project we want to build and then what method we want to execute 
So if we save that, now we can actually go, so I use bash quite a bit, git bash. So that's what we're gonna use for this. You're welcome to use PowerShell or something else. So, and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to source, that's where my code is. So if I do an ls there, then we can go into Unity Test Projects. That's where I put my, my build. And this is actually not the build, it's actually build scripts. So let's actually go back and rename that so that it makes more sense. Okay, we can just call it build scripts. Minimize it. And we can, we'll just go into that directory. And then the other thing that I do is, let me make sure that it is set to executable so it's only set to read so you want to do a, a chmod on the deploy sh so that we can execute it so i'll just do chmod plus x so that we can make it an executable and if we do a ls dash la we can see that it's now the is execute you can actually execute it so and then we'll just do I don't think that actually worked. Let me see. Oh, yeah. We go back and you need to do yeah, that forward slash. So he knows that's the file. So let me just do ls la and I don't think this is actually changing the execution. So the Ishmael. Let me try one more time. Oh, actually, actually, I think it worked. It's just that I'm the owner. Let me try. Okay, so that worked. So as you can see, the the bill is actually executing, and this is giving us a, an error because I already have Unity open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually close the project. I'm actually gonna close that, and I'm actually gonna close everything, and we're gonna just clear our log. And let's just do it one more time. So what that's gonna do is gonna load Unity, and it's gonna start building the the scene that I specify if everything work. And just give it a few seconds, and we can see that it's already building the player for us automatically, building the resources. We could actually just go back to the bash just to see if we can see additional information and we can actually open our test project and he hasn't created the build just yet so we can actually resize it and it looks like it's still going so the the benefit of using something like this so that you can actually automate the the build process and you know if you have to do this multiple times or let's say that you have another server where you can actually you know be running these processes and executing these processes then what that is going to do is actually going to automate it. it's going to basically optimize your time and there, therefore it'll make your team more productive so you can now see that i created a bill and i have the bill generated and that's actually the game so the next step will be if you wanted to deploy that to a server or if you wanted to add it as part of your continuous integration you can actually do that as well and like i was saying on the on the build scripts and the perform build you are more than welcome to to test some of the other settings there's a lot of different targets you could actually extend this if you wanted to you know do a build for every single platform and, and then all you need to do really it's just change the way that the deploy sh is executing and you can actually take a parameter if you wanted to and say okay i want to do an ios bill i want to do an android bill and then basically call a different method so that's really all i wanted to show you in this video guys if you guys have any questions about anything that i just mentioned let me know through the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you